and uh, it's me Pamela coming to you live from Presal as we continue our journey in a day in the life of I'm here with my colleagues Jason Shivani and uh, Hemant I am now at the home of Mr. Ranji Nanan and uh, for those of you who may not know that name he was or is still I'm sure a, a very popular cricketer in uh, the country uh, in the Caribbean around the region and I uh, was just talking to him a short while ago and he was telling me that uh, he retired well from cricket professional cricket that is um, in 1991 he was selected on the TNT youth team uh, when he was just 14 years of age and played cricket constant cricket for about 19 years and I think that's probably the longest uh, for any player um, on the on the TNT team uh, Mr. Nanan has been um, I think an inspiration as well and you know we've spoken to a few families the Ram Paul family we've spoken to the Ramden family and maybe he is one of the persons they, that they would have tried to emulate uh, in getting involved in cricket and uh, being so successful now we're going to welcome Mr. Nanan and you know he's going to tell us he got into cricket at the age of 10 tell us about that I mean we heard stories about uh, people growing up in Presal, but we're going to hear from Mr. Nana now about him getting involved in cricket and telling us a little about that journey, that experience that he had. Welcome, Mr. Nana. Thank you. Um, good morning to everyone. Um, I was saying yes when I passed my common entrance and I entered the presentation, Shogunas. And this is where my cricket career started, started playing at youth level. At press we we had on the 14, on the 16, and then the on the 19. I played a presentation and when I was four, 14 years, I was selected for the Chennai youth team. I said to my, myself and my uncle, Nirmal, to play against Bobindo. Um, the game they play because we didn't wash it out. Right, but before I come there, I was fortunate to to be coached by one Zaire Brax. And that is, and that is a name that we've been hearing all morning. As uh, you know, we talked to residents from Presal, Mr. Zahir Baksh, very instrumental in probably the majority of cricketers down here in Presal. I mean, and and their success. A lot of that is, is owed to him. And Mr. Nanan is, is remembering those days and becoming very emotional. Uh, you know, so it, it's something that uh, he has not been well for a couple of years now. Uh, I believe that he had suffered a stroke. Um, but, you know, he's doing much, he's doing much better. He's recuperating. And uh, his wife, Martha, uh, was telling us when we came that, um, you know, in terms of his condition, um, he can't walk too well but he's doing very very well he just needs a little assistance and so on and uh mr nanan so it's a really a pleasure for us at 103 fm to come and visit you at your home and uh to speak with you and just to let people know about this uh ranji nanan and and his contribution to cricket uh, in trinidad and not only trinidad and tobago but the entire region um the caribbean as a whole and uh, he was, uh, we, we were laughing a short while ago. He was telling us that the, f the last wicket that he ever took was that of Viv Richards. And uh, as we all know, you know, Viv Richards is heavily involved in cricket. And uh, so that, that was, that's a great memory that he has. Um, Sir Vivian Richards, uh, not just Viv Richards, but Sir Vivian Richards. That was the last wicket that he took. Uh, Mr. Nanan, I mean, I know, you, I, I know that you're getting emotional, but tell us uh, what, what, would, what would have been your, your favorite or your, your, you know, your favorite pastime being uh, involved in cricket and even having Mr. Baksh um, to coach you and uh, his tutelage. What would have been your favorite pastime? Well, in the village, cricket was our love. By my family, Zara family, and we all grew up in that. My dad played for Pistal, my dad kept in um, Pistal, so you know, the senior father do that, you only do it too. And while I was living, the ground was actually my yard, you know, I just stepped into the ground. And while well, again, there, what I said, 
All of us in Shun, Tio Coffee, um, Gopot Zal, Moya, Nirmal, all of us pass with Zyre. Zyre help us along the way. And it so happened that where Zol came with it later on, and when that's when the Where Zol League was formed. And we all played in the Where Zol League. And this is where, where you got the chance that I said I um, at 14, but I didn't got another chance until um, I was 18 years selected for the new team. And during that tournament in Barbados, I was voted as the best all wrong player based on feeling. So I, I won the Larry Conson and Trophy. I was the only Trinidadian to be selected on the West U team that year. And we played against Australia. Um, so I, you won't believe it, but I started as a fast bowler. By bowl fast all those days until I, when I went to Barbados, I bowl all break and I opened the bowling. And again, a lot of people might, might know this, but I. Open the bowling with Michael Holding and Hugo from Antigua. We, we were the three new ball bowlers to play against Australia. But when I came on my first trial game for, for selection on the senior team, um, Joey Caruma was my captain. I, I bowled in your ball and then after a while later on, Joey Simboy come, come bowl to my break. And I got five for 26. Mm. Jeff Fitzsomai was the president of the West Indies Good Ball. Came to the dress room after the trial on the Sunday. I said, Joey, can I make one suggestion? This youngster around you now, he has a few to bowl the outbreak. Right? So she's concentrating on bowling the outbreak. And there's where my career started, the way they bowling off rate. So I started to practice and practice and practice, right, to bowl off break. And it's in 1973 when I made my debut for um, Trinidad Senior Team. I played until 91. I ended up with, but the first few years, it was very difficult to get into the team, but you win it squad. You had Asian Ali, Jumadine, Imtiaz Ali, Jack Noriga, all them fight over and to pass around or so. So it wasn't easy, but the main thing was being on the squad and to learn. Well, even though you're not playing, but you can learn. You ask questions from Jumadine, Asian and them, all the pitches bowling, and, and you work from them and you learn the practice too. And eventually, I got a chance in 1978, well, just another chance, right? And I got 6 for 54 in the game against, I think, Jamaica. And I never stopped playing until I retired. 64 games, I ended up with the, with the most wickets in the Caribbean, which was a very cold. And um, I was the first bowler to reach 200 and the first bowler to reach 250. So when I end up that, I also batted and I'm, I scored 100 against the U.S. who had and the U.S. on the side. And the U.S., um, I made 124 against the U.S. against uh, and the U.S. You know how quick he was. And the following year, I made 98, not out. Um, three batsmen got out and leave me there. But um, I had a good career in that. Fortunately, I, I as an all rounder, I'm still the best all rounder based on stats with close to 2,000 runs and 250 all wickets. During those years, um, 1981, I was selected 
Scruff, Sylvester Clark, you see, you, you see a lot of girls on the team also. And I was 14, I, could say, I would say 14 it, because to make that team was very difficult. And the only test I played, I got four wickets, and the only test match was the one I thought was the one I played. So <laughs> that was good. I didn't play a game for West Indies. But when we got home, I was se selected for West Indies against England for the first test in 81. Um, but I gave me the final 11, and that's it. But cricket has given me um, a lot of satisfaction and happiness. You know, I told the world. I played three years in England, 81 and 23. I went to Australia in 82. And I went to Scotland in 1990. And all those 90 years, you, know, you paid 200 Caribbean. Again, I said I was voted the best for playing in the uh, days. Again, being a fast bowler, come a spinner and do so well. Um, then in 91, when I retired, I was given the Shakunia silver medal. Uh, Robbie, Mr. Robinson was the, the prime minister thing that, that year. I think Mrs. Nwarasan Ali was the president. So um, I done well. I have a wonderful family. My wife Martha has been very supportive. Um, we are married for 30 years. <laughs> I have two sons, one, you know, and two grandsons. So our family, we are very close. Uh, and in the village itself, we are very close to one another. We all live in one, you know, and look out for each other. And, and I mean, so many years on the dino and as our, I'm 60, oh, going to 61. And they would, they actually taught me in school. They were my father were good friends and so on. And let's imagine, I become, <laughs> I become their friend and we are very close. You know, um, so I had satisfaction. Um, I played for the club. I played for three teams in my career. Presentation. I was a police. I played for police. I pitched that. Those days, when I left police in 1983, I was asked to come play for different clubs and to be paid, but I never go. I said, Pristal is my village. I born and grew up here. Is it? So, you know, a Pristal man to his heart. And uh, just to mention, when we, when we walked into Mr. Nanan's home, the television was on, and believe it or not, uh, he's enjoying a game, uh, the IPL match actually that's going on with uh, Calcutta Knight Riders and Mumbai Indians. And, uh, you know, so he, he would sit and he, he enjoys, enjoys uh, looking at the game, even though he can't go, he's not as well yet to go when they have matches. But I'm sure, as, you know, I'm sure when he recuperates fully, um, that is probably going to be his number one, uh, <laughs> what he's going to do. You know, so it's amazing to to hear from this icon in Presal. And, uh, you know, it's just a pleasure being here. And I think for the entire 103 team, Heymond, Shivani, Jason, and myself being at the home of Mr. Ranji Nanan. And there's a picture above his, uh, uh, on the wall with the West Indies cricket tour of Pakistan, 1980 to 81. And the entire team is on that. And uh, you can uh, log on to 103fm.net and also like us on Facebook. We have pictures and more for you there. And join us in a few minutes' time as we bring you the final capsule in our day in the life of Presal. 